The BMW X5 has been one of the brand's most successful vehicles, being one of the top-selling luxury SUVs here in America. Introduced in 2014 for its third generation, the X5 continues into 2017 with very minimal changes, but you will still find the X5 to be a highly desirable choice for a mid-size luxury SUV. So let's go ahead and check out and take a closer look at this 2017 BMW X5. Now the X5 was the brand's very first luxury crossover or SUV or however you want to name it. But after its success, BMW even rolled out even smaller vehicles than the X5, including the X3, as well as the X1. But the X5 remains BMW's flagship luxury SUV. But there's also a rumored X7 to come out, which is actually going to be larger than the X5 here. But as you can see, it retains BMW's classic styling traits of the twin kidney grille design. And I really do love the styling of the X5. It's athletic and elegant at the same time. Really also love the 19 inch light alloy wheels we do get here. Overall, it's a really nice looking package and BMW certainly didn't overdo it when it comes to the styling of the vehicle, which is cool. Now our X5 is also a pretty nice one. It comes with the driver assistance package as well as the premium package. And the premium package loads up a bunch of goodies on the inside here. You can also go with the M Sports package on the X5 here. However, ours doesn't have it and it spices up things on the exterior and the interior just a little bit. Now here goes the key fob design for the vehicle. Pretty high quality looking key fob for the X5. You have your unlock, your lock, your power tailgate, and your panic alarm. Now this color of the BMW here is known as the mineral white metallic and it does include smart key access on all four doors of the vehicle. And then you have the Canberra beige leather interior. Power driver seat with your power recline, power thigh extension and power lumbar. And you have memory seat settings for two people. Now stepping on inside of the X5 here, as you can see, it's a beautiful interior. And the step in height is pretty low too, which is nice. You have push button ignition and just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. And what you're hearing there is a three liter turbocharged six cylinder engine, full leather wrapped steering wheel, Coming to your transmission, we have an eight speed automatic here. Go down for drive, up for reverse, and when you put the vehicle into reverse, this will display your rear view camera with guidance lines and trajectory, and you have rear parking sensors as well as front parking sensors. You can also change the brightness of the rear view camera if you would like, and the contrast, and you could turn the parking aid lines on or off if you would like. And then you also do have a front view camera too. And you have manual shiftability. And right here you'll find your electronic parking brake with your automatic brake hold. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the headlights and the hazards. All windows are fully automatic in the X5. Let's go ahead and pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators and you have blind spot detection. Now the BMW X5 was one of the very first luxury SUVs to ever hit the market in the US back in 1999. It's also one of the most successful luxury SUVs too. You have 19 inch light alloy wheels. And coming up front, you have Xenon headlights with LED daytime running lights and LED fog lights. Powering the X5 here is what most X5s are gonna have. 
It's a three liter turbocharged inline six cylinder engine that produces 300 horsepower at 5,800 RPM and 300 pound feet of torque at 1,300 RPM with EPA estimates being a pretty healthy 18 in the city and 24 on the highway. And we do have all wheel drive here. Now, if you're feeling a little green, you can also go with the diesel engine that does provide higher fuel efficiency numbers. But this three liter turbocharged inline six does get up and go and it does provide pretty good fuel economy numbers here and overall most consumers should be satisfied with this powertrain and paired with the eight-speed automatic transmission it makes for a wonderful pair competitors of the x5 you have the vehicles in the mid-size luxury crossover class this includes the likes of the lexus rx the mercedes-benz gle and the audi q7 The X5 has also increased in sales each and every year ever since this third generation was introduced here in the United States. You also do have roof rails and a shark fin antenna. Coming to the rear of the X5, you have LED taillights with LED turn signal indicators, rear parking sensors, dual exhaust tips, rear window wiper with a rear window froster, and a shark fin antenna. Government five star safety ratings. Overall vehicle score is a five. And major source of foreign parts content, Germany. 30%, not a surprise there. Final assembly point is actually in South Carolina. It's not in Germany. Then EPA estimates, like I said, 18 city, 24 highway. Total vehicle price, you're looking at $70,670. I know you guys can't really see it all that well because of the tinted windows back here. All of your basic power necessities, of course, power windows, mirrors, and power door locks. Power tailgate buttons also located right here. Pretty interesting spot. Now, there's no doubt that the interior of the BMW X5 here is just drop dead gorgeous. As you can see, it's opulent and it's lavish. Interior quality is top notch inside of the X5 as well. You'll find soft touch materials that abound everywhere inside of this vehicle. And you have nice premium stitching details on the armrests and the door panels and then on the center console lid too. And everywhere you feel it just feels expensive and premium and build quality is also excellent inside of here everything feels very sturdy and nothing creaks or anything like that that's not typical German nature and when it comes to their automobiles but the interior quality of the BMW X5 is certainly impressive and it's certainly what you would expect out of BMW here now coming to the steering wheel design, it's okay looking, but I rather much prefer the M steering wheel that you get when you get the M Sport package on the X5 here. But it's an okay looking steering wheel. Over here we do have your adaptive cruise control, and then you have your steering wheel mounted audio controls, as well as your voice recognition and Bluetooth phone controls, typical stuff there. Up here, auto dimming rearview mirror with garage home link, LED interior map lights, your sunglass container and then you also do have your SOS safety connect and then your panoramic room roof which gives the cabin a much more open airy feel inside of here love that feature I also do love the black headliner that we get in the X5 it certainly gives more contrast to the interior seating in the X5 is very comfortable the seats are really plush and they provide a great amount of thigh support too especially with the power thigh extension that helps out quite a lot with thigh support visibility is also pretty good too one of the best out of luxury crossovers there's tons of glass area on the front windows the a pillars are extremely thin and seeing out of the windshield is pretty easy too when you get to a rearward visibility it's not actually too bad back there since the uh, roof line doesn't really slope a whole lot which is nice overall seeing how the x5 visibility is excellent too and i love how you can access the front camera at any time coming to the climate controls i love how bmw hasn't really changed their climate controls a whole lot in the past 20 years but you do have four zone automatic climate control you can control um your 
air conditioning from the rear too for the rear passengers which is nice and then you have your dials for the temperatures up here fan speeds and then your different zones and then you also do have your three staged heated seats for the driver and the front passenger which is nice you have rain sensing windshield wipers coming to the gauges in the instrument cluster I love the gauges here and it's a very traditional kind of setup for BMW. There's really nothing too out of the ordinary. But you do have your fuel gauge right there, speedometer, tachometer, and then your coolant temperature. And then we also do have, it also shows you your mileage down there, and then what the time is. And it also shows you your exterior temperature readout. And then right here, it'll show you what safety technologies you have that are on or off. Now you do have a premium sound system, a Harman Kardon sound system, and provides crisp and clear audio quality inside of the X5 here. You also do have a USB charging port, and right here you have your automatic start stop off button. But basically when the vehicle comes to a complete stop, the engine will actually shut off to save a little bit of fuel. That's one reason why this vehicle earns pretty decent fuel economy numbers here, but you can turn that system off if you would like. Now coming to the infotainment system and the main head unit, this is the iDrive system and it's been updated for the 2017 model year. Now it's not like the previous iDrive systems where it was just all controlled by the dial and the buttons surrounding it, but you still do have that here. But now it's also controlled by your fingers. It's a touch screen here, which is nice. Um, usually German automakers don't like to do that. They don't like to make touch screens except for Volkswagen. But coming to your main home screen here, this basically shows all your different menus. And you also do have gesture control, which is nice. So you can like turn up the volume by your finger or you can swipe through the interface with your hand, which is nice. Coming right here, your different audio sources do include all of the norm here. We have AM, FM, XM satellite radio, your auxiliary input your CD player, Bluetooth streaming audio, your screen mirroring, so you can actually display what's on your phone onto the screen, which is pretty cool. Any YouTube videos or anything like that. And then you also do have your USB port, and you can change the tone, manage your mobile devices, and you can personalize the menu. And then coming to your communication, of course, this is for your phone, and then also your BMW roadside assistance. You have your contacts that you can store on here. I have an integrated dial pad, BMW messages, you have voice memos too. And then you have your navigation system. Now I think BMW makes one of the best navigation systems in the business. The map quality is just crisp, it's clear, the rendering's great, shows you points of interest and live traffic, which is nice. And you could change your different map views. You can enter in your destination by voice. You have interactive map too. And I just love the map quality of the iDrive system here. It's just superb. And then you also do have 3D rendering of buildings too. Coming to connected drive, you have your weather, news, online search, wiki local, Yelp, Flickr. This is basically for all your integrated apps, which is pretty cool. And then you have your My Vehicle. You have your vehicle settings. You can change the lighting, doors key, set the speed warning, parking, change your different driving modes, climate functions for the climate controls. And then your iDrive settings from the touchpad displays, date and time, units, language, tone, driver profiles, vehicle status, shows your tire pressure, and it also shows you your engine oil level and it shows you if a service is required or not. Pretty cool there. Usually all that information is displayed up on the instrument cluster and many other vehicles, but BMW decided to put it on the iDrive system here. Then you have your efficient dynamics. Then your X-Drive status for your all-wheel drive system. Then your sport displays too, shows you the horsepower and the torque. And then you have an onboard owner's manual too, which is nice. 
And then you have your notifications right here. Shows you any notifications for the system. Overall, I really do love the iDrive system here. It's certainly one of the best infotainment systems and multimedia interfaces in the business. I really do like it over Mercedes command interface. And the rendering and the graphics are just beautiful on this system. And I love how they made it a touchscreen, which they should have done many years ago. Now you also do have your intelligent safety and basically when you push on this button it shows all of your safety technologies and you could turn it on or off from here it's controlled by the dial and you have your front collision warning pedestrian warning i love the little graphics and the animations that they show here your lane departure warning and your blind spot monitoring system pretty cool and you could change the warning time for your front collision warning now as far as the way the X5 drives, it's pretty sophisticated in its driving dynamics and it's one of the better luxury crossovers if you're looking for a balance between good ride comfort and good handling. Now the ride comfort may be a little firm for some as it's not as plush as say as a Lexus RX. but. It doesn't handle like a rolling couch either. Um, it's pretty nimble around corners too, and it's actually pretty fun to drive. Now it doesn't live up to the ultimate driving machine, how they say in BMW's commercials. However, it is one of the better handling luxury crossovers out there, but it's not really sporty to drive, but it does have a good balance between decent ride comfort and good handling. The power from the six cylinder engine is also good too, and it's very fuel efficient. And the eight speed automatic transmission does provide smooth, seamless shifts. Overall, driving the X5, it is a pretty pleasant driving experience. Just don't expect it to handle like a sports car. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and shut down the X5. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. You have a power tailgate. Now what I love about the X5's tailgate is that you have a split tailgate, which is nice if you wanna have a little tailgate party. And a lot of luxury crossovers don't have that. But cargo space is okay in the X5 here. It's not the best, but at least the seats do fold down 60-40 split. And you also do have a third row seat back here, but certainly recommended for small children only. It's pretty cramped back there. But if you're looking for more space for your third row occupants, then you'll want to check out the Acura MDX or the Buick Enclave. However, those vehicles are nowhere near as luxurious as the X5. Then you have a 12 volt power outlet. But I really do love this design here. I wish more <coughs> crossovers would do that or SUVs. Interior quality does follow through of, in the rear of the X5 here. The second row seats also do recline. And getting in and out of the third row seat really isn't the easiest mechanism in the world. I've definitely seen easier on other crossovers, but you do have dual map pockets back here, and then you also have your climate controls back here. You could change your different zones, which is nice. It's four zone climate control. Then you have your temperatures, a control, air vents, and two 12 volt power outlets. You can also get DVD headrests back here as an option, and you have a roof. Rest and an armrest with the storage compartment and dual cup holders. They want to open up. <laughs> and you also do have rear adjustable headrests. And these seats are pretty comfortable back here. They offer a decent amount of thigh support. A little bit firmer than the front row seats, however. Still love the premium stitching on the door panel. Really nice, very high quality. So with its refined driving dynamics, its potent engine lineup that's also very fuel efficient, and its comfortable interior with plenty of technology available, the 2017 BMW X5 is an excellent choice for a mid-size luxury crossover. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.